Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out something called Baker Flowers. And if you're wondering what on earth is this about, well, it is a nice hot summer day today and I figured, you know, we don't really get an opportunity to leave the computer since this show is primarily about indie games. So why not do the next best closest thing and simulate what it might be like to rest outside in the great outdoors and water some flowers? Well, that's what we're going to do anyway. Uh, so we are this little frizzy haired character who spends a lot of time lounging and has a watering can uh, with very limited water supply. And I believe his only goal here is just to make sure his flowers are well kept, do a little bit of napping, and in general just enjoy uh, his time outside. So we've got the water over here, we're just going to keep refilling our watering can and making sure that our plants are in tip-top shape. It's uh, not entirely unlike that minigame in Plants vs. Zombies, if you're familiar with it, only there aren't so many coins involved. Uh, maybe a good or a bad thing, I'm not sure, depending on your perspective. So we're just going to keep refilling the water and re-watering these plants until eventually they're all looking good and then our character is going to get a little bit sleepy in which case we can either go back and fill the watering can again or just take a little nap. I'm going to do uh, both actually so we're going to refill the watering can then go take a little nap and uh, I am very curious where this goes uh, after you've watered the plants enough times do they grow do they change is there a narrative what's going on here I don't know. I spent about a minute with this game just to get acclimated, and there are basically no controls to learn. You basically just wake up, and you use the arrow keys to walk around, and plant, uh, plants pretty, pretty much water themselves as long as you walk in front of them. And you can tell that they're nice and happy and healthy by their color. They go from this faded dark color back to a nice bright, happy, well, whatever natural color they happen to be. That, uh, that one right there that is now bright yellow was just blue a moment ago, wasn't it? So maybe they are actually growing progression, progressing. I kind of like the art style to this. It's very simplistic and reminds me a little bit of, what is it called? Cyclus or Cyclus? Uh, it was like a freeform adventure platformer that I covered a while back. A similar scribbly nature to it, which, uh, you know, some people might not be into. I find it kind of endearing, actually. Uh, it gives a character. So yeah, I think the plants are actually getting a little bit taller with each successive watering. So we're going to keep at it. Uh, the sun doesn't appear to be moving a whole lot, so I guess we are in a, a permanent state of, like, near midday. Not sure which way the sun came from, so uh, I guess, <laughs> not sure, maybe it's uh, morning or, or becoming evening, but either way. Uh, so we're just going to keep watering. This is a lovely music that's playing in the background, a very nice little piano accompaniment bit going on. The uh, This one right here is now turning orange. It started blue, worked its way to yellow, and is now orange, so I wonder if this is going to be one of the first plants to really change. Or maybe it's the only plant to change, I don't know. But we will find out soon enough. The lovely clouds rolling by, nice rolling hills, everything's rolling. Just got to keep on rolling. So let's grab some more water. We'll go back to it. I'm pretty sure there aren't too many other... Oh wow, this thing's getting taller and taller. Oh! Well, I certainly didn't expect that to happen. I don't know, maybe you guys did. But uh, it totally took me off guard. Uh, so yeah, the uh, flower was, I guess, uh, growing to be some sort of evil, I don't know, presence in our life. I'm not sure where that even came from. It wasn't one of these, was it? I guess it's the one right here? Kind of curious now, because it didn't really seem to be there at first. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I, apparently this is like a, uh, <laughs> a misdirection game where you totally think you're here for a happy, enjoyable, you know, normal time. Oh yeah, it totally comes back every time you go for the watering can. Now all of a sudden it's here where it wasn't a moment ago. And you can't really avoid watering it. Otherwise, you know, if you try to skip it, it's just not gonna let you get over here. You gotta get the water to get past it, so it's a strategically placed in the middle. It's uh, interesting game design. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's not much of a game to speak of here. This is more like a little silly narrative, but it is kind of cute at the same time. It did actually catch me off guard, which I feel like is a little difficult to do at this point, having seen, like, a bajillion games. Uh, you know, still nice, uh, interesting. Uh, can't say that there's, you know, a whole lot to recommend here. You've seen it, the, the joke's over, I suppose, but, you know, I am always up for little interesting narratives like this. And, uh, you know, I look forward to seeing something else that this developer might produce in the future. I definitely enjoyed the art style. The music was lovely. I'm not sure if the developer was responsible for the music, but regardless, uh, I think it fit quite nicely. And you uh, misdirected me masterfully. So I guess with that, we will wrap up a frightfully short episode. Again, I keep meaning to make these longer, and I just can't seem to help it. 
just keep running into these games that are like five minutes long. What are you going to do? Anyway, I think they're worth talking about anyway, because it doesn't feel like a whole lot of other people are going to do it. So I got to do my part to get word out about these silly little fun experiences that might get passed over. So I will give you the abbreviated plugs, as we often do, to close out the show. We've got Indie-Impressions.com if you'd like to stay on top of what's going on with the show. Uh, feel free to browse over. We've got forums. We've got all kinds of different metrics and ways to search by things. I've got a Facebook page for the series, facebook.com slash Indie-Impressions. If you'd like to leave a like over there, you'll get streaming updates. Uh, you'll get occasional uh, news bits and game giveaways and contests, and also uh, every day's new episode, of course, delivered right into your Facebook feed. I've also got a Twitter Twitter handle, which is at Rockley Smile. So if you're interested in chatting with me, or if you have a question, concern, comment, or criticism uh, that you don't feel belongs in the normal YouTube comments, feel free to just hit me up over there. Uh, also works if you're an indie dev and you'd like to get in contact with me about uh, possibly showing off your game on the show. Uh, other than the Twitter handle, I've also got a contact form for that purpose as well. So if you want to visit me over on indie-impressions.com, again, that is a way to do that. Uh, so without further ado, I guess we will bring this episode to a close. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will stick around because I do a new episode every single day without fail. So I hope to see you again here tomorrow, and uh, hopefully we won't be eaten by another sort of piranha plant or something like that. I hope you have a lovely night, and I will see you later.